Hey guys, Don Morris back here again, and I keep meaning to give you an update on how things are happening with my hands. Um, they are definitely improving. This is about a three month update. In fact, it's three months in a week. Um, I meant to shoot a two month update and that didn't happen because there just wasn't that much to report. And on the three month update, well, I guess the big catalyst for me saying there's something to report is I just got back from a appointment with Goldfarb and he says I'm free to do whatever I want to with my hand. Last month he said I could do limited activity with my hand and I resumed doing some of the things that I do, but uh, uh, I'm really happy to be released. You can see I've been busy. Um, this is the kind of thing I've been working on with limited activity on my hands, but uh, full activity is definitely a good thing. Now I'll see if I can come up close and show you what the hand looks like. The only thing I'm really disappointed with, actually there's two issues that I'm a little disappointed with. There's a little, this, this doesn't count. These are just cosmetic. There's just a couple of little divots in my palm. Those will smooth out with time. The scar is still pretty sensitive and I get tingling all through the hand when anything touches the scar, but that's just, I need to just keep working with it. It'll, that'll go away. Um, uh, scar is fading on the back of the hand. That's doing good. But the biggest problem I've had so far is this finger just won't lift all the way. Um, they're suggesting that there's probably some scar tissue that's caught up and engaged on the tendon and they said give it a couple of more months and if nothing has happened they may have to go in and just make a tiny tiny incision and cut some scar tissue loose so I can lift that finger all the way. That's one thing that's going on. The other thing that was a little bit of a surprise for me and this is just because I had a weird hand as you saw from video number one uh, and over time apparently my hand compensated by making these fingers close more towards the center of my palm and that was not something I was aware of before all these things went on. So there's a little crowding of the fingers on my hand when I go to close my hand and I'm getting used to that. Uh, now there's some crowding on this hand when it closes too and I'm used to it so I'm not sure how much that's stuff I'm not used to and how much there's just a little extra crowding. The fingers aren't quite sequencing just exactly in the same uh, sequence any, uh, yet but we're working on that and you know it took me 43 years to learn how to use the old hand and now I've got this new hand that isn't doing uh, that's quite different and it's going to take some years to learn how to use it properly as well. Um, I'm getting a little pain in the wrist. Remember I had the carpal tunnel done at the same time and uh, since I had limited activity uh, when I had this carpal tunnel done I didn't have so much pain in my wrist because I resumed using it a lot faster and I'm guessing that some of the pain in this wrist at this point is because not only did I have the carpal tunnel done but then I didn't use the wrist a lot for two and a half three months and so there's some pain going on there but it's all that stuff that I expect to heal. Um, basically overall things are going pretty well um, I don't know what else to say. I'll probably try and give you a one year update. I don't expect to see anything happen between then and now. If they go in and, and release the uh, uh, tendon, I'll let you know on how that goes. Otherwise, um, this has pretty much been my experience having a amputation for macrodactyly and uh, then a ray transfer across there. And thank you guys for watching. I hope none of you have to go through it, but if you do, you'll come out on the other side, and that's a good thing.